Hello again. We will continue from the last part. We've added a slider and fade screen. First, let's start with the slider. Let's open the line script. We need to add a length variable that will store the total length of the line. Let's initialize it with zero. And each time we added a point to the line, we need to add the distance between the last point and the new added one. Now inside the lines drawer script, We need to add three events, on begin draw, on draw, and on end draw. In the on begin draw, we will send the route of that line. Let's invoke those events. Inside the on mouse move handler, just before adding the points, we need to check if the line's length is less than or equal to the max length, which we need to add inside the route script. If it's true, then we should delete the line. After adding the point, invoke the on draw event. After adding the three events, let's create the max line length variable of the route script. Let's create a new script to handle the UI. Add the references to the UI elements.
And also, add the fade UI and fade duration. In the start method, we added a fade out effect to the game, alpha from 1 to 0. Now let's handle the slider UI. First, we need a reference to the active route in the screen. And let's add some listeners to drawing events. When the player starts drawing, save that route as the active route. Set the color of the slider as the car's color. Set the fill amount to 1. and fade in that slide to the screen, because we will hide it later by default. And change that boolean variable to true, to indicate that the slider is active on the screen. In the on draw, let's update the slider while drawing the line. Inside the on end draw, set the boolean variable to false, and also set the active route to null, and fade out the slider UI from the screen. Here, the slide will always be hidden by default. Now let's back to the editor to test this.
Add the UI Manager script to the UI parent. Here, we forgot to add a canvas group to our slider, in order to make it fade in and out. As you can see, the fade out effect is working. And also, the line is deleted, if it reaches the maximum length. The slider also is updating very well. One last thing is, to add more levels, and have some fun playing. So, that's the end of this journey, I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. And I will see you soon in another tutorial. Cheers!